Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply k-means clustering algorithm to form the clusters for the given data points using L1 distance. In the previous videos, I have discussed how to form the clusters using k-means clustering algorithm and Euclidean distance as well as Hamming distance. The link for those videos is given in the description below. So we will try to understand uh, how to form the clusters using L1 distance in this video. Consider the five data points shown below, P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5. Uh, these data points are in three dimensional uh, space here. We need to apply the k-means clustering algorithm to group these data points into two clusters using L1 distance measure here. Consider the initial centroids as uh, C1 is equal to 1, 0, 0, C2 is equal to 0, 1, 1. Sometimes uh, centroids will not be given. In such case, uh, you can select uh, the randomly two centroids and then you can continue with calculation. So first we try to understand what is the L1 distance. L1 distance is the sum of differences in each dimension. So first we need to find out the uh, difference between each dimension and then we need to find the sum of those differences. That is nothing but a L1 distance. So the first column in this particular table represents the data point. Second column represents the distance from centroid C1 to all the data points. Third column represents the distance from centroid C2 to all data points. And the last column represents uh, the cluster to which this particular data points belongs. So first we'll try to identify or understand how to find these particular values. So to find the distance uh, from C1 to P1, that is from centroid 1 to the data point 1, uh, we have to follow this particular procedure. Dimension by dimension, we have to find the difference, absolute difference, and then we need to add all those things. So 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 here. And then uh, what we do here is uh, 0 minus 2. 0 minus 2 is minus 2, and the absolute value is equal to 2 here. And the third one is 0 minus 3, that is minus 3 absolute value is equal to 3. If I add all 3, I will get 5 in this case. Similarly, I will show one more value that is uh, distance from C1 to P2. 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 plus 0 minus 1 is equal to minus 1 and its absolute value is 1 here. 0 minus uh, 2 is equal to minus 2 and its absolute value is equal to 2. If I add all 3, I will get 4 in this case. So similarly, I have to calculate the remaining three distances. Now, next one is the distance from C2 to P1 here. So 0 minus 1, that is minus 1, and its absolute value is equal to 1, plus 1 minus 2 is equal to minus 1, its absolute value is 1 here, 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 2, and its absolute value is equal to 2, I will get 4 as the answer in this case. Similarly, I have to find the remaining distances. So once I do this particular uh, calculation, I have to assign these data points to one of these two clusters. So how to do that one? I will check this particular distance. That is uh, the first distance is uh, 4 and the second distance is, uh, first one is 5 actually and the second one is 4 here. So between these two, 4 is the minimum. Because of that, the P1 is assigned to C2 here. So that is what I have done. Now I will check these two distances. The first distance is 4, second distance is 1. Because of that, P2 is assigned to again C2 here. If I see the third one, 7 is smaller than 8 here. Hence, this P3 is assigned to C1 in this case. Between these two, 6 is the smallest one. Hence, it is assigned to C2. Between these two, 5 is the smallest one. Hence, it is assigned to C1 in this case. So, once you do this particular assignment, what we need to do is uh, we have to calculate the new centroids. Uh, how to calculate the new centroid is uh, for C1, the data points are P3 and P5. So I will add the dimension dimen uh, by dimension that is 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. 8 divided by 2 is equal to you can say that uh, 4 here. Second one is 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 divided by 2 is equal to 0. 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 here. Similarly, second centroid that is C2 is equal to 1 plus 0 plus 4 because C2 is uh, there with respect to P1, P2 and P4. So 1 plus 4 is equal to 5, 5 divided by, uh, we can say that 3 in this case, it will become 1.66. Second one is uh, 2 plus 1, that is 3, 3 plus uh, 1 is equal to 4, 4 divided by 3 is equal to 1.33 in this case. 
Similarly, 3 plus 2 that is 5, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8, 8 divided by 3 is equal to 2.66 in this case. So, these are the two centroids. With this particular, with respect to these centroids, we need to do the remaining calculation here. So, those uh, centroids I have written here. Now, what I need to do is I need to calculate the distance from C1 to this P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 again. Same thing goes with respect to C2 also. I will show one one uh, calculation. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 plus 0 minus 2 is equal to minus 2. Absolute value is equal to 2. 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. The answer is 5. Similarly, I have to do these particular calculations. Coming back to this one. 1.6 minus 1 that is equal to 0.6 plus 1.3 min 1 minus 2 that is equal to 0.7 minus 0.7 but absolute value is equal to 0.7 here and then 2.6 minus uh, 3 is equal to 0.4 which is again an absolute value here if I add all these things I will get 1.7 similarly I have to do this particular calculations so once I do this particular calculation uh, what I suppose to do is I have to find the minimum distance and then I have to assign the cluster here so between 5 and 7 1.7 1.7 is the smallest one hence uh, the first point is assigned to C2 6 and 2.5, 2.5 is the smallest one, hence uh, uh, P2 is assigned to C2. 3 and 5.3, 3 is the smallest one, hence it is assigned to C1. 1 and 3.1, 1 is the smallest one, hence it is assigned to C1. 3 and 6.3, 3 is the smallest one, hence P5 is assigned to C1 here. Now we can see here, previously this one was a C2, this one was C2, now it has become C1 here. The meaning is, P4 has moved from C2 to C1. There is a movement. Hence, what I suppose to do is, I have to do the same calculation again, unless and until there is no movement of uh, data points from one cluster to other cluster in this case. Now, uh, C1, uh, P3, P4 and P5 belongs to C1. Hence, I will do this particular calculation. That is a central calculation. 3 plus 4 plus 5, that is equivalent to 7 plus 5, 12. 12 divided by 3 is equivalent to 4 in this case comma uh, 1 divided by 3 I think it is uh, 0 0.33 and then uh, 5 plus 3 8 8 minus 8 plus 1 is equal to 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3 similarly I have to do it for uh, C2 also uh, between P1 and P2 I will get uh, these centroids in this case once I get this particular centroids again uh, I have to do this particular calculation that is uh, I have to find the distance from C1 to P1 uh, C1 to P2 P3 P4 P5 C2 to P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 and so on. So once I get this particular distances based on the minimum value, I have to assign the clusters. So in this case, uh, the first data point is assigned to C2. Second one is again assigned to C2 because 1.5 is less than 4.67. Uh, 1.5 is uh, less than uh, 5.67 again here. Now coming back to these three, 3.33 uh, is uh, smaller than 6.5. Hence it is assigned to C1. 0.67 is smaller than uh, uh, 4.5, hence it is assigned to C1. 3.33 is smaller than uh, 7.5, hence it is assigned to C1 here. Now, if you look at the cluster assignment uh, with respect to, to second iteration and the third iteration, there is no change. The meaning is the clusters uh, are, you can say that uh, converged or you can say that the data points are not moving from one cluster to other cluster in this case. Hence, uh, we stop here. And these are the final uh, cluster assignments. P1, P2 belongs to second cluster. P3, P4, P5 belongs to first cluster in this case. So in this video, uh, what I did is uh, I have explained how can we create clusters using uh, k-means clustering algorithm and L1 distance. As I already said, the problems with respect to Euclidean distance and Hamming distance is already discussed. The link for those videos is given in the description below. If you have any queries, do uh, put those queries in the comments so that I can answer those queries as early as possible. If you like the videos, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.